Hi Water Signs and welcome to your July 2021 readings. Just bear in mind that these readings are all general so they won't resonate for everyone. Um, but other than that, I will see you in your reading. Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. Um, happy birthday, Cancer season. It's an emotional one. <laughs> um, so I'm going to jump right in because we've got a lot to talk about. Okay. I really like this month for you. I really, really do. There's only one thing that I think could potentially sway you the wrong way, um, but we'll get there. So let's start with what is coming in for you. So what's coming in for you is you. <laughs> so the way the phrase that I heard was inner union. So I feel like this is a lot to do with your relationship with yourself this month and it makes sense, right? It's your season. So of course it should be about you and your relationship with yourself. So I feel like your relationship with yourself is developing, it's building, it's getting stronger. You've got the three of pentacles as well. I feel like, okay, you may have planted some seeds over a long period of time. You may have put in effort into something over a long period of time, but never quite seen the results of that hard work and that effort and you're going to continue to put in work on yourself and on your life and I feel like you should do this because I think this is the month that you're finally going to see some results not all but some results of the effort that you put in um <clears throat> so I really feel I feel like you're going to be really in sync and really in tune with you what you need what you're trying to tell yourself, spiritually speaking, I think your intuition is going to be very, very strong as well. You've got the fifth dimension card. So I feel like um, it almost feels like you're going to be working really well with spirit, you know, that you're going to be working hand in hand with them, that they give you insight and information. They pass that on to you and then you see it, you understand what it means. And so you take action in your life. And then they continue to send you more messages and then you put it into action. So it feels like you're teammates with the universe this month and it's going to be working out really, really well for you as a result of that. Um, yeah, it feels like they're giving you the signs, they're giving you the clues. It's like they're giving you the green light and you then get to run with it. So I feel like you're going to feel very connected, I think, this month. You're going to feel very, very in sync with, with both the 5D and the 3D. This isn't one or the other this month. This isn't too much in one or the other. This is both. This is using both to your advantage, which is exactly how it should be, right, in your season. Um, like I said, it feels like you're almost getting the signs, you're getting the downloads, then you're putting that into action. You're understanding what you want from life, you're making it happen. You're not, um, I don't feel like you're going to be blocked this month. I feel like this is a really good manifestation month for you. So I think it's important that you know that. So that you use it well and so that you keep yourself in quite a calm, collected place. Which it looks to me like you will be. Um... And you just have to maintain that so that you start to see the things that you've been dreaming of and imagining and wanting for yourself. So you see them come into your reality. You see them manifest in the physical. Um, and that's what you're being helped with this month. So I see you working hard, but you're not working hard alone. You're working either, it could be with other people in your physical reality, but I think for most of you, this is working with the universe or your higher self. This is um, a lot of spiritual work as well, I think, this month. Um, but learning how to balance both worlds and both realms, right? This is what you're doing this month. You're, you're learning how to balance those out and seeing how they benefit by working together. You know, because often most of us are in too much of one and not in the other. And it does create an imbalance. Whereas for you this month, it feels like you're mastering it. Like I get it now. If I just do a little bit of that and a little bit of this, if I take that from the 5D and this from the 3D, 
this is what I get, this is what I produce. But you're also not forgetting about yourself. It's, it's almost like all areas you're just kind of mastering at one time. <laughs> I understand the 5D. I'm going to give a bit of time to the 5D right now. Okay, now I'm going to give a bit to the 3D. Okay, I'm quite tired, so I'm just going to take some rest and do some self-care, right? So you're really understanding how to balance things out this month. And I think it's going to be working for you as a result of that. It's almost like you're in the flow. You're in the flow. So in terms of what you're moving towards, like I said, inner union. It really feels like inner union to me. We've got the strength card. Now this version of the strength card, you know, her face, she's got two, two faces. One is her very feminine um, energy and the other side is very masculine, very dominant, very uh, powerful. So it feels like both of the, maybe your masculine and feminine sides are merging this month or you're, again, it just feels like everything, everything that you've been working really hard to balance out over a long period of time, you're finally understanding how to do that now. How to bring those sides of yourself together and how to make them work for you. And with this seven of pentacles being here, again, it feels like you've planted seeds over a long period of time. You may have planted seeds years ago and then you never thought that they were really growing or that anything was really coming of these things. You may have felt blocked because it was all underneath the surface. So you may not have been able to see the rewards or the, the rewards for your efforts. But really what was going on was that they were growing. <laughs> they were just growing the root, the roots were growing and you couldn't see it. And you just thought, oh, you know, all this effort that I'm putting in, it's just not, it's not, nothing's coming of it. So should I just give up? Should I just stop? Should I just let go and, you know, do something else or give up on this side of my life? But really it was just, it was just, it was taking a while to really get to the surface, but there was movement. You just weren't aware of it. And it feels like what you're moving towards is seeing seeing the evidence or the first, maybe not entirely, but just seeing the first evidence of it sprouting, you know? <laughs> um, and I think it gives you, it might give you a bit of a confidence boost or a bit of an ego boost with the strength card being here as well. Um, I also see you being quite stubborn, but I don't think it's in a bad way. I think it's being quite stubborn with your goals that you're setting for yourself and with the ideas that you have. I feel like you're, it's almost like the consistency is there. And because of that consistent effort is there, it is actually materializing, right? Um, so you have, it seems like you have motivation this month to turn things around in your life and within yourself. Um, I feel like you're gonna be very reliant on yourself this month as well. Um, you know, the help is there if you want it, but I don't think you're dependent upon it. I think you know, you've figured out how to be by yourself and you've figured out how to make things work for you so that you don't have to depend on other people and other things playing out in a certain way for you to be happy, you know? It's like you've learned how to make that happiness yourself. So there is kind of a slow energy though, because it's pentacles. So it's not, I don't think anything's moving too quickly, but it, the way it comes across to me is that it may feel like it's moving quickly because it's already taken so long to get to the point where it sprouts. So by the time that it sprouts, <laughs> it may feel like, wow, this is happening so fast, but really it's still actually moving quite slowly. But from your perspective, it feels quick because it's the first time you've, see, you've seen evidence of the growth. And it may be growth within yourself. If it's not external, it could be your own growth that you're finally recognizing how far you've come. We've got lessons here as well. So you are, you could be learning something new and very quickly as well. So this could be a new project. This could be a new idea that you have, that you are, 
<laughs> I just heard it's a page turner. So it might be something that really grabs your attention or really just takes up all of your energy. Almost like when you're reading a good book and you can't put it down, you know, that type of thing. So you may actually start to learn something new and you get very invested in it because of how interested you are. I also though see this as more symbolic that you could be learning more about yourself, who you are, learning a different, almost like understanding a different side of yourself that you didn't realize was there or that you never really tapped into until now. Um, because of that side of yourself was still growing, that side of yourself was still evolving. So you couldn't really use it in the external world because you you didn't even know it existed it was under the surface there was a side of yourself that was under the surface that needed time to catch up with you so that you could um you know make the best of it when it decided to make its appearance yeah so i think you've had to be very patient and i think that you've had to be very determined and I do see you being very determined, but I don't think it's coming, I don't think it's taking a lot of um, effort. I think it's very natural for you this month that you're gonna feel quite determined to see these seeds that you plant grow into something. And I think it's just because you see the evidence of it. So you're, it's almost like you're receiving a certain amount of encouragement because you're given a sign or you're given something that shows that your effort is paying off and that just motivates you to keep going. Now, in terms of what your challenge is this month, interesting, after everything I've just said, two nines, we've got the nine of wands and the nine of pentacles. So this is about you. <laughs> so as much as you are your own superhero this month, you're also, you could also be your worst enemy and that makes sense given the energy of the reading because I keep talking about two sides coming together, the light and the shadow, masculine, feminine, the, you know, the 5D and the 3D. There's, there's a lot of um, duality here. And so I feel, I feel like as much as you could build yourself up this month, you could also very easily tear yourself down. And I think that's where you're gonna have to be careful you have to be cautious of what you're feeding yourself with because it really all comes down to you this month. So even though I do, I do see you uh, being very determined and very consistent and managing this energy very well, I think it could be one of them situations where you see you see growth, you see movement, you see um, you see good things happening for yourself, and it could be very easy to try and find a negative in all of that, um, or start to doubt it, because we do have in the shadow energy deception and misguided. So. In what way could you be deceiving yourself this month? Is it what you're telling yourself? Is it what you believe about your own capabilities? This is what I mean. Your shadow side, I think, will be your challenge because it could be your shadow that's trying to mis mislead you or misguide you in some way. It could be your shadow side that's trying to make something very good and very positive in your life turn very negative and make you feel insecure. So your insecurities might make themselves known um, or your doubts, your fears, and it's how you manage that this month. It's being aware of what they are so that when they do pop up, right? Cause that could be another way to look at this card. When they do pop up, when your shadow pops up or when your insecurities, your fears pop up, you're already there ready to catch them so that they don't have time to take over you so they don't have time to become so big that it blocks you. So you are your own superhero this month and potentially your worst enemy and it's up to you which side you choose there. It could go either way, right? You can be your own obstacle and your own challenge, your own blockage, or you can be the very reason that you start to see evidence of the life that you want to manifest for yourself. 
Now, how you're feeling this month? Yes. When do we ever see this combination? I don't think we ever see this. So the fact that it co it's come up for your birthday month, good. <laughs> this is how it should be, right? This is my point. Happy and excited, yeah. You've got this kind of new side of yourself that's blooming, this new reality that's starting to show itself in your life, in the physical. You've got a lot to be excited about. You're mastering your inner union, your inner balance. There's a lot to, for you to be happy about and a lot for you to be excited about this month. And again, sometimes when we're in this high vibrational energy, it's very easy for the low vibrational energy to come in and try and try and manipulate and mislead and talk ourselves down from it, right? So <clears throat> be aware of that when, if and when insecurities come to the surface, understand what they are and don't let them all the way in to ruin this great energy that's coming into your life and that you've earned, I wanna say as well, with this three of pentacles, seven of pentacles. You've put in a lot of energy to get to this point where you can feel this way and you can enjoy a certain kind of life that you've been you know, building yourself up for. So you're gonna be in a great energy this month. You know, This doesn't, <laughs> it's not necessarily permanent. It's not necessarily every day, but it is your main energy for the month. So this is great. This is about maintaining this now. Now you can't be happy all the time. That's an impossible goal, but <laughs> Main, having some consistency with that happiness, you know, having some consistency with being content with where your life is going and how you're feeling within yourself. So your advice for this month is grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. So yeah, definitely being encouraged to go after your goals to go after the things that make you happy, to continue to put an effort into what you're trying to manifest and create for yourself. Um, to not uh, let these fears and doubts mislead you. Or maybe it's about f fears of going after these things that look good and that being that not actually being what it looks like. What am I trying to say? That's a really bad way of saying all of that. You know, there may be, you may have moments this month where you don't wanna go after something because it looks too good to be true. But understanding what's fear versus what's real, right? And <clears throat> not being so worried with where you end up all the time, but more so going after the things that you want and seeing how it plays out in the moment, being more present right, than thinking too far ahead. So, right now you are poised to jump in, up into the next level of your life and move forward into something even better than you could have ever imagined. When grasshopper spirit appears, it is a fortuitous time to take a leap into the unknown, for grasshopper spirit represents the innovative spirit that says why not, and has faith in the powers of co-creation. You are being called to trust that this is the right time to go with that idea, relationship, or situation. Take risks for abundance in all forms will show up for you. Exactly, right? <laughs> it's finally popping up. They're popping up. These seeds that you've planted, they're finally coming to the surface. Wondrous things await when grasshopper spirit appears. You are not going to go backwards, so listen to your intuition rather than your fearful ego that resists any change and clings worriedly to what was. Luck is on your side. Jump up and forward with confidence, for spirit has so much in store for you if you could only take that leap. Yes. So this looks like a great month for you guys, and I'm really glad. <laughs> It's a great way to start off these readings. So I'm gonna leave it there and move on to the others, but have a good time, because it looks like you will, and I will speak to you soon, bye. Hi Pisces, and welcome to your reading. I have a big smile on my face, because so far, and when I say so far, I mean Cancer and Pisces, these, re <laughs> these readings are looking good for this month. And I've been calling July for like, a while because I've just had a good feeling about it and so far the readings are looking promising. I love your reading and I loved Cancer's reading as well. Both very positive and upbeat. Yes. Okay. 
So what's it's actually very similar. You've got a few of the similar cards to Cancer as well, actually. Um, what's coming in for you? Queen of Cups. There you are. With the Ace of Swords. So yeah, Cancer also got this in the same position too. So I feel like... <clears throat> Okay, the messages that were coming through for me is that it really does depend on which side of yourself you're in this month. What do I mean by that? I mean, Pisces, are you in the energy of I'm hiding myself away, I'm shying away, I'm being quiet, because Pisces can do that, right? Or are you in the other energy of I want to socialize, I want to be around people, I want to give, I want to share love. I think for those of you that resonate with this reading, I think you are more in that hide away, shy, not necessarily shy, but you're just kind of pulling back your energy a little bit. Um, and I will explain why in a, in a little bit, but yeah, I see you in deep contemplation, first of all. There could be a lot of thinking going on. You're gonna have to be a little bit careful about um, spiraling in terms of your thought process, right? Um, I feel like you're trying to figure something out this month. You're trying to figure something out. Um, and I feel like you are actually, it could be that you're getting the answers this month. So in terms of yes coming out, which is, <laughs> it's very um, popular, this card lately. I feel like, yes, you're gonna get your answers. Yes, you're gonna get your clarity. I feel like it's coming in very, very soon. But I also think if you are if you are in deep contemplation about something this month, then I feel like, you know, you're being given the answer. Either way, I don't think, if there is any confusion, I really don't think that it's going to last. I don't think it's gonna continue. I think that you're gonna almost find your way out of the spiral, right, if you've been in one. Um, I also think communication is going to, I see a lot of people in your reading. There's a lot of people in your reading. And what this kind of says to me is that particularly if you've pulled back your energy or if you've pulled back, you know, you know, when you really want to be around people, but they never seem to be available. And then when you pull back your energy and you're just resting or you're, you're in deep contemplation or whatever it is, that's when people, you know, come out of the woodwork all of a sudden. And it's energetic, right? It's that kind of energetic push-pull thing. So I feel like something like that's happening for you where I see you retreating, but I see you not being alone. <laughs> you're not, or you're not being left alone. Let's put it that way. Um, because I think you've been trying to figure something out in your mind or you're trying to just, maybe just figure out where you're at or what's going on inside of you. Maybe you felt a little bit different lately or you felt a shift. Now, hasn't Neptune gone retrograde? I'm pretty sure I saw that recently. Um, we're gonna talk about that in your challenge position because I think it's affecting you there. Um, but that could be a shift that you might be experiencing is, you know, Neptune is your planet. It's also the planet of psychic abilities, which might be why there's a lot of um, mental energy for you because of, if Neptune is retrograde, you might be feeling um, a little bit more of a disconnect to your intuition than you would normally. Now, you also have union here, right? So I kind of get the feeling like, um, yeah, you're going to be reconnected with someone or something this month. It could be um, maybe you've been questioning if this is something that should happen or if this is something that will happen. And I feel like, again, you're being given your answer there. So if you felt like going back to something or you felt like returning to something, I feel like there's your answer. Particularly if it's been on your mind, if it's been something that's kind of, you've been going round and round in circles about. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like your intuition is actually on point, but you may be questioning it or you may have been questioning it. You may have been doubting your own instincts a lot and you're being told not to do that anymore because you're on point. <laughs> you're on point. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, there's definitely, I feel like something's coming back around. I'm kind of looking at this Ace of Swords, something is circling back around um, and you might feel it, right? You might feel that that's happening um, and you're gaining clarity on that. 
But again, there's something, you're, I feel like there's some important communication. Didn't I say this to you last month or was that the month before? I'm I, Honestly, I don't even know where I'm at or what day it is most of the time now. <laughs> but um, didn't I say something to you about communication? Was it like, it might've been last month, a message or something. So yeah, there's something about, um, your communication is going to be important this month and I feel like it's more more communication you might be receiving than giving it could be you know both ways though there's there could be a conversation that's important this month um that's going to provide a lot of answers for you yeah the answer right <laughs> the answer is yes so I feel like it's going to provide clarity and answers to questions you've been having so that you're not stuck in your head anymore or so that you don't go around in circles anymore so like almost like a picture is becoming clearer for you this month. So in terms of what you're moving towards, well, you've got the King of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. So Cancer also got the Three of Pentacles as well. So I really feel, first of all, the King of Wands is a very creative energy. So some of you are moving towards some kind of creative pursuit. Um, really putting in your hard work. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I see some of you rebuilding a relationship this month. Oops. Um, yeah, oh, that's on the table if you want it, because we also have offer here, here, here bleh, here too. <laughs> so yeah, I think some of you definitely need to communicate or you need to, you need clarity. Um, but I kind of see and feel, I'm not gonna lie, I feel and I see Pisces being in that kind of um, zoned out energy, you know? If you're a Pisces, you'll know what I mean. That kind of zoned out dreamy energy. And so it may be very difficult for you to um, get across what it is that you want to say and clarify because there's so much going on inside of you that you don't know how to get it out. So it could be, there could be something like that going on as well. But I see you definitely taking action towards any creative pursuits that interest you. But I also see a potential to reconnect with people and rebuild something. It's, again, I said this to Cancer, but getting the green light, right? It could be just a, a, a matter of time, you, you know, with the traffic lights there. Or well, they look a bit like traffic lights. I don't think they are traffic lights, but that's how I see them. Um, it's almost like uh, the only thing that can stop this now is time. But you're gonna get the green light soon to move forward with an opportunity. Yeah, it's almost like if an opportunity comes your way, I feel like you're being encouraged to embrace it and accept it and not overthink it, right? You're being encouraged not to overthink opportunities that are trying to come in for you this month and more so just go with it. If it's what you want, obviously. Otherwise, you don't have to, but if something that you want comes your way this month, you're being encouraged to go with it, not overthink it and spiral. Don't spiral. More so trust your instincts and your intuition, which may be more of a challenge because of Neptune. But you still, you're still very intuitive. I think it's more you just might doubt it and get stuck in your head. Um, but I, yeah, there's definitely an important conversation here that's gonna happen, I think. Um, you may also uh, collaborate with someone this month too, on a project, um, working with someone to build, or working with multiple people to build as well. The opportunity is there to do that, and this could be the next step for you, you know, if you've been, yeah, because <laughs> it's a spiral staircase, right? So maybe you've been looking for the next step and struggling to understand what that is for you, and the reason why you couldn't figure it out is because it involves other people and, and you needed that input. You needed that clarity, you know, it's like other people. This is a part of your life where I feel like you're meant to work with others rather than by yourself. And you needed what they had, they needed what you had and together you kind of build up a strong, solid foundation, right? Um, <clears throat> 
So all is gonna become clear this month, which I think is gonna bring you more peace of mind. And I think it comes from you actually taking that step back as well. So like I said, if you're in that kind of Pisces energy this month, where you're like, I'm just gonna hibernate <laughs> and pull back, um, and retreat right if you're kind of more in that energy I feel like that's actually helping you because that's what's bringing in the clarity you're no longer looking for it it's more you're just allowing it to you know come at you when it's you know when it's meant to and because it's kind of relaxing your energy it you're kind of opening that door to allow it in um so I, it's it's very strange because I kind of see this being a solo month for you, but not. It's like maybe you want it to be a solo month, but it turns out not to be. Um, and I think that that's, this is why you're being encouraged to kind of be more open to what comes in or who wants to spend time with you. Because I think, I think this isn't, you may, I can't get my words out, this is my point, I feel like you're going to struggle to express yourself this month because you're going to have so much to say or so many thoughts and ideas that actually getting them out and putting them on paper may be quite difficult because there's so much coming through at once. And we are in, you know, cancer season, so that water sign energy, um, Cancers are also very intuitive. So that, again, it's 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 trying to make sense of all of that in a physical way. Um, yeah, so I feel like there's definitely a lot to be excited about. And I said this to Cancer as well. Cancer's got a lot to be excited about too. This is a really good month for you, or it could be. Now, in your challenge... <laughs> High Priestess. So again, intuition, right? This is also one of your cards. So this is my point, is that I feel like, again, if Neptune is retrograde, I feel like that's impacting you. It could be making you doubt your instincts and your intuition, or it could be put, placing you more in your mind than in your intuition, and you're going to have to watch out for that a little bit so that you don't spiral. But it, with this Queen of Wands, is this Queen of Wands coming through as well? Again, I'm seeing this in in the one sense, I feel, okay, hold on, <laughs> getting so many things. In the one sense, I feel like this is two aspects of you. Again, this is that kind of, I'm retreating, I'm just going within, I'm taking a break, I'm taking a time out, I want to just be. And this is Queen of Wands, you know, is I want to go out, I want to socialize, I want to be around people, I want to, you know, have fun, I want to enjoy myself. So it could be actually trying to make sense of these two sides of yourself, which are polar opposites and trying to make them work together and trying to understand what to, what you're gonna do about that and what, you know, um, how you're going to um, almost satisfy both of those people, right? How are you going to, how are you going to fulfill all your needs when you have two sides of yourself that are very different from each other? Um, but I also see this, okay, this is my point. I think you're going to have a hard time this month with being seen. And I don't mean that in terms of you want to be seen and you're not being seen. I mean it reversed. I mean, you may prefer to kind of blend into the background this month and be in that version of the Pisces energy but you're being noticed anyway. <laughs> it's like you're being seen for it anyway, regardless. So you may have a hard time with that this month for some reason. And again, it may just be because you've got a lot going on inside of you that you are trying to figure out. And having eyes on you on top of that may be a little bit much. It may overwhelm you. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so we've got fresh start here as well. So it could be getting something off the ground could be quite difficult for you. Um, or wiping the slate clean in some way could be quite, could be a bit of a challenge. You know, how, how am I gonna wipe the slate clean? How am I going to 
not repeat the past? How am I going to, you know, where is my fresh start? I think that could be the challenge for you. Um, where is my fresh start? Where is my new beginning? Um, still lacking a little bit of clarity on that. Or struggling to trust the clarity that's coming in about that fresh start, right? Now, we, we also, in the shadow energy, we've got medicating. So, Pisces, what are you indulging in this month? Are you indulging in something? Um, are you numbing? Are you numbing what's going on? Because there's, like I said, it's cancer season. It's an emotional season. Cancer season is always quite... It more so than Pisces, I think. I would say Pisces can be a lot in itself, but Cancer season, I always think, is a little bit more emotional. I think um, in a more obvious way. Um, so is it that you're feeling a lot because you're already a water sign and you're in a water sign season and there's a lot going on anyway? And is it just bringing a lot out of you that you're trying to numb? The other message I was getting though is bad influences. So <laughs> certain people you could be around this month could be um, bad influences on you too. So you might wanna just be aware of that. You know, again, it could be like, um, you're just really trying to take care of yourself. Maybe you're like, I wanna stay in. And then you've got a friend that's like, no, let's go out, you know? And you're like, oh, but I just really want to just be and this person's not hearing it. So that could be something that's going on for you as well. Um, but I feel like it's more numbing. It's more, medicating is usually about numbing. Um, numbing what you're feeling or what's coming to the surface or numbing some intuitive hits that you could be getting as well. I'm gonna clarify this actually because um, it's a weird kind of challenge you've got but then this is a very different kind of month I think you're gonna have anyway, in a good way. But I, maybe that's the point. Maybe I said this to Cancer too. Is it because good things are happening and it sends you spiraling because it's good? <laughs> because it's like, oh, this is actually quite positive. Let's find something wrong with it. Okay, I don't know what that one was over there, but we've got the Three of Swords in reverse. Now this is a quite um, scary looking version of the Three of Swords, right? And it is about heartbreak and pain, but it's in reverse. Hmm. Oh, okay. Fresh start, Three of Swords in reverse. That makes sense, wiping the slate clean. So that's what you're having a hard time doing is forgetting pain from the past to have the clean slate. So there's something, something could have hurt you in the past and it's about ridding yourself. It's not, I don't think it's, um, if it involved other people, I don't think it's what you feel towards them that you need to let go of. I think it's just, it's the emotions. The emotions are always the last thing to heal, right? They're always the last thing to go from a situation. So I feel like it's something to do with pain from the past that you still haven't, that you're numbing because it's coming to the surface for you to finally rid yourself of it. But also it's, it's the struggle of completely letting go of that so that you can have a fresh start, so that you can start over, so that you can rebuild, right? So there's something going on there. Yeah, because it feels, like I said, union, which can be like reunion, unite, right? So there's something going on where the only thing blocking you from having a new beginning is releasing, struggling to release the pain from the past. That's the only thing I think, but it's happening. It's happening. It's just, it may be happening quite slowly, right? Um. So could this be struggling to trust in a new beginning as well? Potentially. But trust takes time anyway. It doesn't matter, you know, what or who it is. Trust takes a long time to build. But I think that could be your problem is trusting. Trusting intentions of other people, I think. Yeah, 
<laughs> incoming chariot, right? As well as being the card of cancer. So the, this is the card of the month, which is movement, right? Eight of swords, but yeah, this is, the, you need to watch your, your thoughts this month because I see something coming in. It could, it could be something's coming in and you need to not get in your head about it and, you know, listen more to your intuition, trust your instincts. But it could also be that you're keeping yourself stuck in your head or your mind is keeping you stuck where you are when you're being encouraged to move forward. As well as not, um, not listening to outside influences as well. Be careful who or what you're listening to because it could mislead you. Yeah, I feel like um, it's going to be really important for you to trust yourself this month. Trust yourself. I don't think you should trust what you can and can't see because I think there's a lot you can't see. I'm not going to lie. I think there's a lot you can't see, right? eyes are closed, both of these cards blindfolded. There's a lot you can't see. So you shouldn't trust what you can see this month. <laughs> you should trust your instincts and your intuition because that's telling you a hell of a lot more than what you see on the surface. Um, yeah, so I feel like there's a chance to start again and to rebuild an, a stronger foundation but it means releasing, first of all, it means releasing old patterns of behavior. And it means not repeating the past and not doing things the same way all over again. And making sure that you're bringing your new version of you into newer situations so that you have a different experience so that you don't go, you know, right back around the same cycle again. But also it does mean not dwelling on the past and not focusing on what happened then because then is not now right? Then is not now. And it's adjusting and adapting to what is today and how things are today. And more than anything else, who you are today. You're not the same person that you once were. And that's, that's okay. It's it, in many ways, it's a good thing, right? Not that you were a bad person then, but you've grown, you've developed. And so you deserve to have experiences that match that level of growth, right? So, <clears throat> I think this is about taking your time as well. Taking your time and making sure that you have healed enough to start to rebuild. Because again, if we go in unhealed and wounded, then what typically happens is we sabotage the new because where our behavior is matching our emotions, our behavior is matching our unhealed trauma or pain. And so it tends to be projected onto anything that we try to create. So I think, again, it's about taking your time. Again, re if this is about rebuilding or this is about building a new foundation, it needs time. It needs patience. But more than anything else, with this Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, it needs consistent effort, right? It needs consistent effort. It needs, it needs um, more stability to become something, right? Um, yeah. So I feel like you, yeah, you just need to do things at your own pace this month. You need to do things at your own pace. You need to take your time. You need to go at a pace that you feel comfortable with, but also make sure that you are moving <laughs> and that you're not just hibernating, but that you are moving. 
Even if it's slow, that's fine, as long as you're moving. Yeah, you're, this is my point, Pisces. I think that you, there's something about being watched or being seen by others. And it's putting you in the Seven of Wands energy for some reason. It's making you a little bit uncomfortable. And I don't know why, but it's making you a bit uncomfortable. Some, it, it could be that, you know, people are seeing your worth and value, in which case that's a great thing. But why is it making you uncomfortable? Is it because you don't see your own worth and value? Is it because of who it is that's seeing it? Um, do you, is it a lack of trust? Again, a lack of trust in the fact that that could be true. So there's something about, something's making you uncomfortable in terms of being seen for who you are or being watched. Yeah. There's lots of, pe I feel like there's lots of people in your energy. <coughs> there's lots of people in your energy. And I think that's the point. And I think that's why you're pulling back. There's lots of people in your energy and, and you can feel that and you can sense it. And it's making you kind of retreat just to take care of yourself. And because it's making you uncomfortable being seen. Yeah. So more healing, I think, but this is healing whilst also moving forward. So it's not about, right, we're just going to permanently stop here and heal and not do anything in terms of building the future. It means I am going to move forward and I am going to take small steps and I am going to go at a pace that I'm comfortable with because there's things that I want to build for myself that require my efforts and require me to go about things in a different way but I'm also aware that I'm still healing from whatever's taken place in the past and I've not fully recovered from that yet. So this is why I need to be careful and this is why I need to make sure I'm balancing out both sides of these things well. Um, yeah. <laughs> balancing the scales, yes, balance. Balance is important this month. Right, so it's it's not about being too much in one side of yourself and the other side. You're a dual sign, right? Duality. So it's about making those sides of yourself work well together. Both sides of you are important. Both sides of you exist, and it's important to make them work well together, which can be really challenging at times. Um, but both sides of you are needed now. Because I think what may have been happening is you've been kind of going from one extreme to the other, you know? I'm I'm this extrovert, I'm going out, I'm I'm giving so much of myself to I'm not giving anything, I'm completely retreating and hibernating, you know? And really both sides of the those energies need to work together. Um <clears throat> I also feel like justice, there's something about justice here as well, so karma could be balancing itself out too. Um, and that's something to be aware of. I don't know why I'm getting this, but something about legal battles. Um, hmm. if, if you are in some kind of legal battle, I feel like it's possible it will go your way just because of your advice <laughs> at the end which we're going to get to okay so in terms of how you're going to be feeling inspired great right this is what i'm talking about creative inspired wanting to move towards your goals moved stimulated challenged yeah you've got so many ideas it's almost like something just sets you off and just gets you you know, in the flow again. So if you've been out of the flow, I feel like you're getting back in the flow. <laughs> and then you've got loving, right? And it says devoted, affectionate, and tender. So yeah, I think you're gonna be very, very soft. So yeah, you're gonna have a lot of love to give this month, but I think it's about balancing that out and making sure that you're not over giving and overdoing it. 
<laughs> again, it's that it's that dual nature, right? So it's like, don't get too much in your soppy, lovey-dovey side and don't get too much in that kind of I'm retreating and not giving anything to any one side. It's just about balancing that out and making it work for you and work for other people. Um, but yeah, you're going to feel very, very giving, I think, this month and very um, nurturing, very soft, very sweet. I think whatever you do care about, you're going to want to give to that and make sure that you give your all when you do. I think you're going to be filled with ideas and want to kind of take off with them. You might want to kind of give love to your creative pursuits as well. Nurture your ideas, right? Um, nurturing a new beginning as well, I think. Nurturing a new beginning, this fresh start, wanting to kind of... Um, like planting a new seed, you know, you want to water it so that it grows. I think, again, there's going to be, inco uh, I don't know what I was going to say then, important communication. I feel like you're going to, yeah, there's definitely going to be some news or some insight that you receive or that's given to you that um, takes, you away, uh, takes you away from your thoughts and your mind. Okay, so let's get to your advice. Rabbit spirit. <laughs> now is a lucky time. Yes, that's what we like to hear, right? Um, so it says, a sunny meadow calls and rabbit spirit appears to lead you out of the dark warren and into the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience. Okay, fertile, and we've also got this. So just be aware, just be aware. Um, it may seem safe below ground, but the magic happens when you come out and take the risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new. <laughs> it may seem safe below ground. This is what I'm saying. I think some Pisces this month want to kind of hibernate and want to kind of climb back into their cave um, because of the emotions and the emotional intensity that this particular season brings. But you're being encouraged not to do that. And I think that's what's making you a little bit uncomfortable and maybe at times unsafe. You might be feeling a little bit unsafe because you're being pushed out of your comfort zone. Almost like maybe you would normally retreat like a cancer, like a, a crab going into its you know, shell. Maybe you would normally do that in cancer season, but you're not being allowed to do that this month. You're actually being encouraged to do something different. You're being invited into a new life that you have no experience with, yeah. This is like a fresh start for you guys, right? You're having this fresh start, this fresh new beginning. It's uncomfortable because it's new. You don't know if you should trust it. And it's like any new beginning. Any new beginning comes with a bit of risk and comes with a bit of um, uncertainty. You don't really know where it's all gonna land. It's a bit wobbly in the beginning, but it's, it, it's like you're being encouraged to be excited by that and not scared of it and not retreat from it but have no fear. <laughs> Today is also a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy rabbit spirit's sunny and prolific energy. At this time, whatever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground. There are no mistakes, really, when you are co-creating with spirit. So let new ideas spring to the surface, knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous possibility. That's so exciting, right? This is what I'm saying. It's these new seeds that you're planting. You've got, you've got things that you are going to want to create this month. And even if you don't have ideas right now, they're coming in. It's like you're just going to have these, these epiphanies. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like anything you put your mind to this month, anything you put your heart and soul into this month will grow. It will become what you want it to be. So this is why it's going to be a busy month for you and it needs to be. It's like they're, they're encouraging you to come out of hibernation because it's not a time for that because they don't want you to miss out on this energy that's around your life. Um, so yeah, I think you're, you're going to have a really good month but I think you're just going to struggle with a few trust issues and moments of doubt and insecurity because of the past, because you're still healing from being wounded um, 
And it could be multiple things, because if you look, this heart has a lot of strings attached to it. So it could be a lot of things from your past that you've been recovering from, or that's come to the surface recently. Maybe some past pain has come to the surface recently that you've had to just kind of purge out. But because of the purging, you might be feeling more sensitive and more vulnerable right now, in which case, you know, any new opportunities that come your way, you might struggle to trust in the beginning or struggle to find the urge to take that chance and take the risk because of you you fear this happening again but that's not what your energy suggests at all this month this month is more about uh, things actually going your way you just have to trust in that um and believe in your ideas and what it is that you're wanting to create okay so i'm gonna leave it there guys but i hope you have a good month and i will speak to you soon Bye. Hi Scorpio and welcome to your reading. So let's jump in. Okay, what's coming in for you guys then? So I feel like you're, you're going to be going through a time where I feel like you're, ref you're reflecting on something from the past. We've got the Four of Swords with the Five of Cups here. You're healing from maybe a disappointing situation from the past I think some of you are going to feel quite tired as well this month. I think some of you may feel quite um, low on energy and you may need time to recover and rest and heal yourself because I kind of get the feeling that um, that you may have been through something recently that was quite difficult or something's been brought to your attention recently that you're having to kind of um, work your way through, you know? Um, but it's emotional with this Five of Cups. There's some emotional moments here that you may have already started to have. Um, and I think it's just part of the healing process. I think it's just allowing yourself to work through a painful situation that you've had to come to terms with and give yourself the time that you need to almost grieve the past, I wanna say, and grieve the experiences that you've been through. It's funny though, because you've got admired here. So I feel like you are seen, you are recognized, you are supported, you, but you may not be seeing that this month because you're you're very much focused on what's been lost or what's hurt you or what's, um, you know, what's brought out a lot of sadness within you. You're kind of more focused on that than you are what's going on around you or who's seeing you and respecting you and, and admiring you you're not really looking at that right now because I think there's a lot going on inside of you that maybe other people around you don't see. Some of you may perform in some kind of way um, and people see the performance, but they don't see what goes on behind closed doors or they don't see um, what you're working through emotionally because you're kind of hiding that from the world. Um, so I think you need time to rest. I think you need time to take care of yourself. I think you need time to... Um, to process what's happened in your life up to this point to maybe it's very much the opposite of Pisces actually because of uh, Pisces were being encouraged to come out of their cocoon but it looks like Scorpio is being encouraged to go into their cocoon and allow themselves to heal and allow themselves to uh, balance out their energies because you have to give yourself permission right I don't think people um, always understand that, that really it's down to you. You have to kind of give yourself permission that that's okay, that it's okay to take some time, that you don't always have to be on your A game, right? That sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, fall apart a little bit. Sometimes you're going to need a good cry or spend some time alone and just feel a bit sad. Sometimes you're gonna have to go through periods of time like that, but it's okay, because ultimately it's, that is processing your emotions, that's acknowledging them, that's that's recognizing that they're there and not trying to dismiss them or be in denial. And, and that can be when it's harmful, is when we try to deny what we feel. But I feel like this month, you're giving yourself the time that you need to heal from what has been hurting you. Um, but it may be behind closed doors, away from prying eyes or away from um, people who may have this perception that you're shining or that you're glowing, but really there could be a lot going on with you emotionally that they're unaware of. 
In terms of what you're moving towards though, we've got the Six of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, work. Definitely work is going to be on your mind. Um, the material world. I feel like you're going to be putting in and investing a lot of energy into yourself, actually. I feel like you're going, again, it feels like this is very much a month for you to focus on you and to get yourself to back to a place where maybe you feel quite, you know, good within yourself. You, I don't think this is um, necessarily about insecurities and things like that. I think it's more, um, it's, it's an experience you've had that was difficult to process. And I think you're just trying to get back to feeling content and happy on your own again. Um, maybe some of you have gone through a breakup recently um, and it's about you learning to enjoy the single life. And if it's not about a breakup, then I just feel like it's about you getting back on your feet, you know, you putting in energy and effort to get back on your feet. Um, maybe, again, if you, if you are a giver, if you are someone that likes to spread your energy, then I feel like you are mainly investing in yourself this month rather than giving to other people. You may actually receive a bit of help and support from others as well and you're being encouraged to accept that help and support when it comes your way because that's going to help you get back on your feet, that's going to help you uh, to feel good about yourself and just where you're at in your life and to heal from this experience that you've been through. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, because we, we actually do have separation, which I didn't see. So yeah, again, for some of you, this could be a breakup and that you're healing, you know, you know, you're healing from some sort of heartbreak that you've been through. And you're just trying to recover and again, get comfortable with being single or get comfortable with being on your own um, to start to feel like you again. Maybe you had to go through a separation to feel like you again. You know, sometimes we lose ourselves in the relationships in our lives and we don't... Um, we, we forget who we are, who, who we were before that relationship. We can't remember, especially if it's long term. Um, and this is a time for you to discover who that person is now. And, you know, almost to, I feel, I, I can't speak. I actually see you taking time to do things that maybe you haven't had chance to do for a while because of circumstances in your life. So um, hobbies that you have, um, skills that maybe you stopped working on quite a while ago. I see you investing in those types of things to feel like you again, that reminds you of who you are, you know, that gives you that boost that you have other things going on in your life that bring you happiness and joy and um, fulfillment. I think you're invested in your money as well. And I think that you're wanting to improve your financial circumstances. Maybe you had a bit of a, this loss could have maybe impacted your finances maybe you went through um maybe you took some time off or you you retreated to heal and maybe that impacted your finances and you're trying to rebuild that now you know a, a lot of people do this including myself so absolutely no judgment from me but um a lot of people when they're feeling in this, you know, this five of cups energy, this kind of depleted, I'm looking back at the situation and I'm upset about what's happened energy. When people are in that kind of mindset, even depression, anxiety, they throw themselves into the material world because the material world tends to bring stability, that groundedness that's often lacking when we're feeling like this. So, that could be something that you're doing this month is that you're putting your all into the material world because it, in, in the hopes that it brings you some stability and balances out your energy. So what's challenging you this month? We've got the King of Cups with the Page of Swords. Interesting. So um, this could be something that you're seeing something that you're watching, something that you are um, discovering, learning about. Um, yeah, it could, maybe you you uh, receive some insight or some information that may be quite painful. Yeah, no, it's something that you're seeing. Look at this. It's something that you're seeing. Okay, if, if someone caused you pain, I feel like they're scared to look at you because they, 
that means they're going to have to see the pain that they've caused. They're going to almost have to see themselves through your eyes. Um, and this could be something that they're trying to avoid. But I feel like if, you, if you're in pain, people know, like there's someone that knows you're in pain and wants to be there for you. If you're struggling in some kind of a way, I feel like that has been recognized. And I feel like someone wants to be there for you, but you won't let them. Um, you might be just trying to deal with this on your own. And if it's the person that caused you pain, that could be, you know, why you don't want to receive help from them because of, you know, the person that hurt you. There is that kind of phrase, the person that hurt you can't be the one to heal you. Um, but yeah, with numbing being here in your challenge, I feel like it could be that you're having a difficult time numbing out these feelings. And the reason for that is because they don't want to be. These feelings are coming to the surface for you to look at and heal and process. And it's it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable and it hurts. And sometimes it feels like you're going backwards, but it might be that you're going backwards to go forwards. It's only until we process these emotions that we're gonna be able to get back to this place again, right? Um, <clears throat> it could also be that numbing is the problem, that maybe you are numbing out your feelings making the when we numb feelings they don't go anywhere they go somewhere temporarily but then they come back later on so it almost prolongs the healing process because if we just sat and allowed the, the feelings to wash over us they would go away quicker right but it's because we numb them out and we don't want to feel that way that we're just kind of delaying the process and i feel like that could be something that some of you are doing or if it's not you, it's someone that you're dealing with and it's something that they're doing. Um, <clears throat> I think talking about your feelings could be something that you might have a hard time with this month as well. You might, have, you might be running away from talking about your feelings or expressing your feelings, despite the fact that they're there and you're in a way consumed by them at times. I think you're having a hard time expressing yourself. Maybe because you're trying to understand what you feel yourself and you can't put it into words. Yeah, so your feelings this month, very different to the first two water signs. We've got hopeless here. Now, these always sound more extreme than they are. It says pessimistic, which is probably more the, more the case. Pessimistic, despondent, defeated, yeah. That, just that feeling of wanting to kind of give in to the feelings, right? Give in to the emotion, give in to the pain. It's, it's, when, it's when an emotion gets so strong that you don't have the energy to do anything other than just to feel it. And that could be something that's happening to you guys this month. But again, it's just part of the healing process. And if you look at the image as well, it's a lot of waves. And it's almost like you are the boat, right? You are the boat and these feelings are kind of, um, they've become too much for you to, for you to try and suppress and keep under the surface. The waves have got, uh, have become bigger than the boat. And so you can't suppress them anymore. So you're going to have to just let them wash over you and allow them through so that you can go back to living your life, feeling more stable and, and um, balanced yourself. We also got worried though. So what's troubling you? Something's concerning you. Um, something is causing you to feel this way. I'm gonna clarify that. So there's some kind of almost anxious, nervous energy here. Um, it could be, again, this could actually be um, someone who's worried about you, someone who's concerned about you. And if you, are feeling okay within yourself this month and I feel like you could be worried about someone else's well-being and maybe you want to be there for them but they won't let you in or something um yeah because I feel like whoever's in pain here I feel like they've just kind of got their head down and they're working really hard and they're trying to avoid their emotions because they don't want to um they don't want to feel what they're feeling because it could be quite it could be a lot to deal with yeah ten of swords how whoa how similar is this <laughs> 
like the same image basically so again the waves are kind of it's like the dams bursting right the dams bursting and the emotions are coming out whether it's liked or not and that could be in your case or someone that you're dealing with the emotions are coming out whether whether you want them to or not whether they want them to or not because they can't they've been suppressed for far too long and they've built up over time and now it's it that now they need to come out and they're going to get the attention that they want but because it may all come out at once it may all come out in quite um an obvious way it could capture the attention of other people which causes concern but really i think the problem has just been because the feelings have been there for a while they've just not been shown or expressed and so people weren't necessarily aware that that was something that was going on and when it all kind of comes out it's a bit of a shock to the system for everyone around and everyone involved so I feel like all of this is happening for a very good reason. It's to actually help either you or someone that you know get back on their feet and restabilize their position um, and move them forward. But this this had to be cleared out first because it wasn't being, it was being shoved under the surface and kind of swept under the rug and hoped that it would just kind of go away on its own. Um, but feelings obviously don't work that way and they need to come out and they need to be acknowledged and they need to be seen for what they are. Um, yeah, this is like the way out, I think. This is the way out um, of this cycle, maybe, that's been, um, been on repeat. We do have the Five of Swords here as well. So yeah, it may feel like a little, it's, it's almost like a deep dive that's happening here, a deep dive, needing to go and look under the surface, which is not the most comfortable, you know? looking at our own shadow sides, looking at um, what we've suppressed, what's in our subconscious, all of these things is, um, is quite painful and difficult, but necessary at times when we want to get out of cycles that aren't working for us anymore. When we want to find the exit sign, we first have to understand what it is that keeps us in the cycle in the first place. And I think that's something that's happening here so what's being brought to the surface is showing someone how they get out of a situation. You know, we we want things, don't we? we? We say to ourselves, oh, I want this to change or I want that to be different. And then we're shown how we do that. And sometimes we don't like what we have to do to get out, but that's why we've been stuck for so long in the first place, right? Because if there was an easy out, we would have taken it a long time ago, right? Mm -hmm. So when we're shown the exit sign, but it's it's surrounded by an obstacle course that looks really difficult, it's not the most appealing, but it's saying, you know, this is what's needed to get out. This is what's needed to move forward. First, this needs to be dealt with. So I feel like this is an answer to how do I move forward? But it's not necessarily the easiest of solutions. Now, your advice is hawk spirit and it says, let spirit be your guide. So yeah, I feel like if this is your energy, you're not in it on your own. You're not in it on your own. You're, you're very much being helped and supported. In fact, the very reason why this is happening is their influence, which can seem unfair in itself sometimes because you're like, why? Why am I in pain? I don't want to be in pain. I don't want to feel sad. I don't want to you know, I don't want, want my energy to feel this low. But ultimately, again, it's saying, look, this is what's always been there. We've This isn't just something that's had just happened and just occurred. These emotions have always been there. We're, we're just bringing them out of your system so that they don't sit there anymore and distort your energy and your surroundings and control your behavior. We're showing you the problem by bringing this up for you so that you can just feel your way through it and release it so that you can move forward without the, without carrying all of this around because it's a lot to carry. So hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. And again, this is about watching, right? Hawk, watching like a hawk. So something about uh, uh, maybe being watched by others because your energy is not where it once was. People starting to recognize 
um, what's going on with you or how you're feeling and maybe there's some discomfort in that. Um, it could also be that you are watching or you are seeing something that's create that's stirring up this this energy in the first place. So flying high above the landscape, the hawk sees both the big picture and the small details, observes the rain and the pond as well as the cloud and doesn't miss anything. When hawk spirit arrives, you are called to pay, uh, to pay close attention to messages from spirit that can appear anywhere in any form. Listen to your intuition and keep your eyes open for synchronicities, the meaningful coincidences. Hawk Spirit asks you not to dismiss the signs that Spirit is sending to guide you. Lately, you have been hearing the same word or song or coming across the same symbol here, there and in the strangest of places. Perhaps you hear a song on the radio and just the right lyric pertaining to your query or you begin to notice uncanny billboards, license plates, or other places where repetitive numbers or words show up for you to notice. Pay attention to the animals that appear for you and connect with their symbolism. Spirit wants to communicate and reaches out again and again. When Hawk Spirit appears, it is a sign to listen. So yeah, this I don't think this is a time for you to take drastic action. I feel like this is a time for you to be and to allow to allow emotions to the surface, to allow these signs to guide you and, and to, um, to listen, to be open. And I feel like this will pass because you are moving towards a very stable period of your life. I just think this is the obstacle that you have to overcome in order to get there. This is your exit sign or your start line right <laughs> depending on which way around you look at it but this is the solution to the problems of maybe repeating the same cycle it's just hard to view it that way when the energy is heavy okay so i'm gonna leave it there but i hope you have a good month and i will speak to you again soon bye